What's going on everybody? I'm Oprias and I'm going to talk about the same thing that every single YouTuber today in Bitcoin's talk about. The Bitcoin Death Cross. Nerdy Dude Stuff. Alright everybody, welcome to a bloodbath day in the markets. Welcome to a sellout video where I am talking about the topic that everyone's talking about. The Bitcoin Death Cross. You can kind of see some of the repercussions and the course of action of the death cross of Bitcoin and why everything's down. It's a bloodbath day. Oh my god. Where has this been familiar? Why do I feel like I'm in a deja vu? Where have we seen this before? Like two weeks ago, we saw a bloodbath and everyone was talking about it. And Bitcoin was under 8,000. And then it went up to 9,000. And then it dropped back down 8,000. It started this whole death cross. Trend. Now, in my opinion, a bloodbath day like this is nothing to panic about. You know, I watched Sunny Decree's video today, as I said, I wouldn't have comment, and I watch his videos all the time, I've just been about three videos behind, and he talks about the Death Cross, and he brings up a very valid point that I have said as well, but he said it first, and I'm going to say it again. So he said it first, and then third, and then I'm going to say it second and fourth. Um, Bitcoin sees a lot of hits when we see a lot of hits from altcoins. Bitcoin dominance right now is at 45.5%. That is up, it has been increasing. You've seen my videos where I've seen it at 38%. 39%, 41%. Reason why it's increasing in dominance while also decreasing in value is because a lot of exchanges and a lot of avenues don't allow you to exchange something like, I don't know, the Binance token for cash. Bitcoin gold for cash. I'm trying to think of stuff that's not on Coinbase, which is very easy. There's only like four coins. So what happens is people take these coins like Ripple. And they sell it for Bitcoin because they see Ripple's down and it's dying. And then they panic and they sell it for Bitcoin. And they immediately turn around and sell their Bitcoin for cash, which in turn brings up the supply of Bitcoin that's available. And the demand is now lowering because people are selling it and panicking, which is fine. It's great. It's a buy day. It's a hold day. If you're a crypto genius, which I'm not, and I'm not an expert, it's a day where you scoop up and add to your collection. So even though... In the purpose of this video is really kind of share my opinion and my feelings, and we are going to talk a little bit about the death cross. I'm going to paraphrase an article and then talk about more. Even though Bitcoin's value, this dollar value right here is decreasing, the personal value that I hold in my account, my Satoshi value, heck, even my Satoshi value on the gambling platform, which I always talk about, is never decreasing. So whether this 29,000 Satoshis is worth $3 today or $2 tomorrow or $10 in a week from now, I never lose my Satoshi value. So, bloodbath day. Hold day. Don't panic. It's all right. Everything's good. Now, purpose of my channel, as you guys know, if you follow me, I am definitely, absolutely not a crypto genius. I am not a financial advisor, legal terms there. Um, I am a YouTube daily vlogger, right? Uh, whether I'm entertaining, whether I'm funny, whether it be looks or jokes that I crack, uh, whether you guys find value in what I have to say, it is in the eye of the listener viewer, watcher, subscriber, for you guys to take what I say and enjoy it, learn from it, make fun of me for it, or whatever you want. And that's how I'm always going to be. So when I look at articles, and yes, I do need to read articles to do my research, I sometimes I do read the articles word for word. Sometimes I don't. I don't think I'm going to read it word for word this time. I'm going to pull out some key points, and then I'm going to talk to you about my opinions and my feelings on what this Bitcoin death cross is. Now, mainly what I'm grabbing this article for is for a couple sentences, and first I want to explain what the term is a death cross. And a death cross, and I'm reading this word for word, is when an asset's short-term movement average crosses below its long-term average, indicating way more downward action in the market than usual, and apparently Bitcoin is nearing one. Sounds bad. So obviously everyone's talking about Bitcoin's long-term average is going to be 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 points. But now the charts and the lines and the technical analysis is showing differently. And the short term is going to go, which is going to counter offset the long term of how can we get up here when now we're death crossing. So now we're maybe going to get back here in the long term. <clears throat> Paraphrase it kind of, sort of, simple. The death cross is actually a bear trap. Um which I guess is a good thing since bears in this occult adjacent lexicon are people who believe in the value of an asset is set to drop. That is word for word. That is not, even though I said the word I, I guess there, that's not what I said. 
So here's my thoughts and here's my feelings. And this article continued on to say something that I have been saying and agree with. Uh, Bitcoin is currently set at $10,427. Now, in December, it did crest at $20,000 and then it crashed back down to about $10,000. So people are panicking because like, oh my God, Bitcoin isn't near that $20,000 or Bitcoin isn't near that $10,000. When I started and I got into Bitcoin and I learned about it, it was at $3,000. So that is nothing that I had ever panic over. Uh, where else can you sit there and look at something, especially a digital cryptocurrency that you can't touch, and that's everyone's argument that it's not real and tangible, is it $7,000? Where is it gonna be $8,000? When is it $4,000? Where is something that's like $2,000? That's something that's traded and easily accessible to the masses. Nowhere. So I don't understand why people wanna sit there and turn around and panic about a Bitcoin price being $7,000. $427 unless it all of a sudden starts plummeting down to Ethereum's level then even all the way down to Ripple's level at like 53 cents which I don't foresee ever happening if it does then I'll eat like my shoe or something but anyway that's the reason why I'm not worried about a death cross quote unquote or anything like that because I've seen Bitcoin I started with Bitcoin lower and also this article does talk about let's take a look at the time frame of last year at Bitcoin's value and it wasn't $7,000, it wasn't over $7,000, it wasn't over $4,000, it was probably around like the one or $2,000 range in March of 2017. So there's those things to consider. You know, this Bitcoin jumped like crazy and then kind of corrected itself. Now, I don't necessarily believe in things like technical analysis. Uh, you know, I believe that technical analysis is hindsight is 2020 because you can draw your flags, you can draw your marks, you can do your double bottoms and your triple tops and your mountain pops and your heads and shoulders and your bubble gum doody be bubble blops. Uh, but really, everything that's ever realistically predicted, I've personally seen maybe 45% of it has been right. And that's because if you throw enough shit at the wall, some of it's going to stick. Um, and every time that I see these technical analyses, you know, we looked at technical analysis back in December when Bitcoin was at $15,000 and everyone's like, oh my God, it's trending up to be $50,000 by March of 2018. Here we are in March 2018 and said $7,000 and be like, well, you know, maybe we should have taken into consideration that Bitcoin was sold, oversold at an RSI of uh, four. 47% on six hours worth of December 22nd, and that's trended this. Now, you guys are probably, if you're technical analysis or technical geniuses listening to me babble and thinking that I am a complete idiot, but in everything I've seen with technical analysis is I've really more have seen a benefit in a quick short term, uh, which is why I am in part of a short term day trading kind of group that looks for signals on purchases, but not only do they look for signals, they look for reasons to buy the news, sell the, or buy the rumor, sell the news, stuff like that, and that's all short term. That has really nothing to do on technical analysis. Because imagine if you sat here today and you looked at the Bitcoin chart over the past month and you said that you're going to do technical analysis and see that Bitcoin trending, we're going to pull up a month here, that Bitcoin trending at this chart right here that's pulling up and we've gotten our you know head and shoulders and we got our double bottom and then it corrects itself what if like all of a sudden out of nowhere like uh, satoshi nakamoto popped up and was like this is me here's my birth certificate i'm the real guy and this is the plans and developments i have for bitcoin and this is the technology i'm building and i'm doing blockchain 2.0 technology and then we're gonna have bitcoin integrated into the future that thing's gonna go freaking flying through the roof and technical analysis can't accompany or accommodate for the randomness can't accommodate for something like the chaos theory because freaking Jurassic Park and I love that stuff. So that's a little reason why I don't believe in technical analysis. Um, why are we potentially looking at a death cross? Because people are panicking and they're selling and they're getting rid of their altcoins and they see Bitcoin going lower. And other things that technical analysis says is like, well, we're going to go ahead and put a line of resistance up here and a line of support here. And if Bitcoin hits a 7400 line of support and it stabilizes from there, we could potentially go back up to our line of resistance of $9,000. But then if we also, if we don't get that line of support at 7400, we're going to start looking at a line of support at 6700. And if we hit that then we could probably get back to our resistance of 8800 it's like again i said it before cover the little ears if you throw enough shit at a wall it's gonna stick so that's my opinion that's my feelings that's my thoughts a little rambunctious i just got off of work so i kind of wanted to yell and vent a little bit my wife's not home 
So if your volume's too loud, why is my computer chiming at me? If my volume's too loud, I do apologize. So let me know what you guys think uh, about the Death Cross. And another great thing this article says, the Death Cross is just a cool freaking name. That's really all it is. I mean, it just sounds great to attract people. And they say something about grabbing people from, like, the crypto Twitter pool. And it's just, it's a cool name. They even talk about, like, back in the news, like, a bomb cyclone. and other words, Death Cross is everywhere. And, you know, it's just ways that the news can be like, oh, Death Cross. And then we see a CNBC tweet here. So, pretty cool. Anywho, guys, uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I'm actually going to show some footage of the Digit uh, web browser uh, beta that's up. And there's actually ads and everything. We're going to talk about that. Watch a couple other videos about Ditch It. I'm not going to get too crazy about it. You guys want to join the Radicoin Club, uh, go ahead and click on the Telegram link in the description in the video. Uh, this is a great place where a lot of people are talking about network, and not network, but uh, they're talking about trends and things that might happen with coins that they're you know reading and good day trades. And I've had some success in it, so I've been very happy. And then there is, of course, a premium group, which just dropped out that there's a rumor that IOTA will per will form a partnership with uber so that might be a good signal right there iota for a long-term hold uh last but not least we're gonna do some gambling i'm just gonna take a breather we're close to thirty thousand satoshis making me happy i think my computer's chiming at me because my group up there so anywho you guys have seen this join the referral pool every single sunday i give out 80 percent of my satoshi value up here and all you have to do is click on the link in the description do your hourly roll and you see there two days 18 hours and counting and then you play the multiply btc game select minimum bet lose three times in a row on either high or low of your choice make sure you stick with one or the other not back and forth or you can just win a shitload like that cover the little ears late on that lost three times in a row bump it up to 10 kind of getting on a rant here and we won so Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a comment, leave a like, leave a dislike. Please hit the subscribe button. If this is your first time on your channel, I'm not usually this crazy or energetic. I try to be. And if this is a positive thing and this video gets lots of views because of it, I'm going to keep doing it. So, I'm Oprius. We'll see you guys next time.